Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to install the new Google Assistant on a rooted Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. Currently, I'm using a custom ROM called IonOS and I have tried this method on Pixel Experience as well and it should probably work fine with other ROMs. This method should probably work on devices other than the Zenfone Max Pro M1 which use stock Android, AOSP or custom ROMs. The requirements are simple. You need a rooted phone with a custom ROM and internet connection. Another important thing to make sure is that you should only have English US as your phone language and you have the gesture navigations enabled. This method won't work with the two button and three button system. The first thing we'll need is Magisk and most of you should already be having it on your device. If you don't, then go to the official Magisk website and follow the steps shown to install it. All you have to do is boot to recovery and then install the Magisk zip. Then after rebooting, install the Magisk APK. I have a pending update so I'll finish it and then we'll move on. Once you are done with that, open Magisk and go to the downloads tab. Install Magisk Hide Props config module and then reboot your device. Once your device has rebooted, open Magisk again and then install BZBox and reboot again. Once you have installed both the modules, then you have to install the app Termux from the Play Store. Once you have finished installing, open it, type SU, press enter and grant permission for super user. Now what we are trying to do is to fool the system into thinking that this device is a Pixel 4. So we'll change some values which show our device model to Pixel 4. Now type props and press enter. Now we need to add custom props. So press 4 and then enter. Now press N for a new custom prop and then type ro.product.model and press enter. Then type pixel 4 and again press enter. Press Y, enter. Now we don't want to reboot right now so press N because we have three more values to enter after which we will do the reboot. So again press N and then enter type ro.product.odm.model and press enter. Type pixel 4 and press enter. Press Y and enter. Press N and enter. Press N and then enter. Type ro.product.product.model and press enter. Type pixel 4 and press enter. Press Y and enter. Press N and enter. Again press N and then enter. Type ro.product.vendor.model and press enter. Type pixel 4 and press enter. Press Y and enter and press Y to reboot your phone. Once you have rebooted, download the NGA resources APK from the description and install it. Once you have installed the APK, reboot your phone again. Once you have finished rebooting, swipe from the corner to activate assistant. A message showing additional download required will show up. Finish the download and the assistant would be up and running in a few minutes. The issue here is that you can't see the assistant's UI yet. 
but it is working as you can see it just opened Spotify. Now download the XML file from the description and get the root browser app from the Play Store. Once the app has been installed, open the root browser app and grant it super user rights. Then copy the XML file from the internal storage and then go to the path as shown on the screen. Now change the permission of the folder shared preferences prefs and make sure you only change the permission of the folder and not the files inside it. You have to remove the write permissions from the folder. Once you are done with that restart your device. As you can see after the restart the new assistant UI shows up as well and you can go to the explore tab or give commands by typing. Enable the continued conversation feature to better utilize the new assistant. Here's a quick little demo of the new assistant. Open recorder. Open Spotify. Open files. Open YouTube studio. I hope you enjoyed this video and this method worked out for you. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any queries ask me in the comments and I'll help you out. Until then be kind to everyone.